everyone's saying, why didn't you buy one of these aftermarket engines? Everyone started saying that same thing to us. And that just made it, reinforced it for us. Well, we can't do that now. Everyone's saying the same thing. We gotta do our own engine. <laughs> so, we're doing our own engine. If anybody was skeptical about this project, that's what they were skeptical about. You're crazy if you try to build your own engine. Taking something from a napkin sketch and actually seeing it running and performing even close to what we originally imagined, that's going to be, I mean, that's just going to be gratifying because basically everybody said we couldn't do it. It started with an idea, and the idea was a bunch of us just sitting in a room thinking, what could we do? We quickly determined that we want a V4 that sits sideways in the chassis, and in our minds now, is actually facing the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Once we decided on the designs, the foundries will cast uh, the metal part overside. It's a cast piece when it comes back to K-Tech, and then they machine it. Um, that's when it really starts looking like an engine component. K-Tech is our technical partner on the engine. They are building the engines for us. They are validating the engines for us. What K-Tech does best is engine durability. They make engines that don't break. What we've created is a new American motorcycle engine, the KMV4. It's a liquid-cooled 90-degree V4 engine based on American pushrod muscle car architecture. Added to that, modern fueling technologies like gasoline direct injection. It is a brute force, high displacement, wicked American engine. We're just trying to make it simple and focus on the rider, the experience. It does look like E.T. I know it. It's from, it's from another planet. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Wow. Wow. What we want is motorcyclists to look at this engine and say, that's a clean slate. That's something I can build on, tinker with, add to, take away. It's a clean slate that mechanics can get their hands on. I think some of the people who said we were crazy from the very beginning, they're starting to think maybe we're a little less crazy now.